Hey! Hello! Welcome to News Blast. I'm Gary. I'm Tara. Happy Thursday. Happy Thursday. Happy Thursday. Yep. Just an, another normal Thursday. Just a normal Thursday. No birthdays. <laughs> Actually, we do have some, some news. We do have a birthday to, to celebrate. My birthday is next week. Hey! Yeah, it's gonna be pretty exciting. I'm pretty excited about it. Um, <laughs> Happy birthday, Gary. Thanks, Tara. It's so nice of you. <laughs> All right, yeah, all right, let's move on. Um, no, it is Tara's birthday. She's very excited. Oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> Happy very birthday. Thank you. <laughs> Happy birthday She's to you. She's wearing her millennial week. pink. Millennial pink. She's very excited. It's a real color. It doesn't, it doesn't look as pink next to my pumpkin orange. It, you know what? We kind of, like, Gary and I try to match when bit. we can. Yeah, yeah, I think these blend. Pretty yeah. well, actually. Yeah, this would be bad. like a good eyeshadow palette, like a peach. <laughs> yeah, that works. Okay, I'll appreciate that joke. Um, let's get into it. Mike Tyson. Mike Tyson. This is awesome. I love Mike Tyson. Yes, uh, Mike Especially Tyson. Now. I did. <laughs> <laughs> Tyson's, he's awesome, and he's, he's getting cooler by the second. Mm -hmm. uh, so um, we remember we broke the story. Mike Tyson is opening up a, a weed ranch called Tyson's Ranch. Uh, it's going to be a marijuana cannabis um, mecca, basically. They're going to be cultivating, teaching. Uh, they're going to have a bakery. They're going to have an, a glamping area where you can stay, or the amphitheater, all, all sorts of crazy stuff. Uh, Mike Tyson was at the premiere of Kickboxer Retaliation last night at Arclight Ooh. Theaters. This For is those a, of you who are Kickboxer fans, yeah, this, this is Jean-Claude Van Damme. Yeah, so this is like uh, this is great. This is pretty cool, actually. I mean, this is I love. Yeah, this. you got to check out the trailer. It's it, it's gnarly, but there's like a lot of MMA guys, and obviously Jean-Claude Van Damme. Mike Tyson is, is, is uh, stars in it also. Uh, Wanderlei Silva. I mean, there's like a bunch of the guy who plays. Uh, listen, I, I'm not. Gonna pr try to pronounce his. Ha I will try and pronounce this because it's it. good. Hafpor it. Julius Bjornsson. Is that it? Bjornsson. The mountain. Just call him the mountain. Mountain, the mountain. from Game of Thrones. He's in it. Uh, so oh, it's the mountain from Game of Thrones. Yeah. Hey, <laughs> I knew happy I recognized birthday. that guy. <laughs> yes. Uh, yes, the yes. mountain. Um, he, he's awesome. So um, we talked to Tyson and we asked mm. him about uh, the weed and, and, and a couple things, and, and we'll play the clip, but one of the things we asked if he's worried about competition. You know, this is the green rush in California now. A lot of celebrities are getting involved with marijuana. Legal. Yeah, so if he's worried, and also ask him about celebrities that may be getting in on this. Ooh. Let's see. Are you, are you worried about like companies like Monsanto and other like big uh, pharma getting into the marijuana cultivation game and like, you know, for like profit? I don't care about nobody getting into the marijuana game because like, we're going to have the best marijuana around, so I'm not worried about the competition. That's good. I love Great. that. Answer. Listen, we're going to have the best marijuana around. He also says that Snoop Dogg may be getting involved with him. He says that him, him and Snoop. <laughs> We're smoking buddies back in the day. What? Um, and so that, cool. Yeah, that he wants to bring uh, his celebrity friends kind of on the ranch to, to help um, help get involved, help collaborate, basically. Uh, so, oh, best yeah, it's, it's pretty really? cool. Obviously, this this is great. Um, and, and this is the first mm -hmm. time Tyson's actually, we obviously did the story, but this is the first time he's spoken about it. Yeah, exactly. He's spoken about what's going to be happening at Tyson Ranch. Um, and yeah, how cool would it be to just show up and see him and Snoop Dogg just, just hanging showing. out while checking you in? Doing a little he did say recreational that, cannabis. Yeah, he did say that um, the, they're supposed to open up it later this year, it sounds like. So. Yeah, he said in a few months. We may be at Tyson Ranch sooner than we thought. Yeah. Fingers crossed. Very yeah, we're, we're really very excited about this here at The Blast. We will keep you up to date on everything going on at Tyson Ranch. Yes. Don't you worry. <laughs> Oh, hopefully from the scene. Yeah, really. Hopefully we <laughs> yeah. will be there. In the alive. field. I'm, we're going field reporting on this one. <laughs> Maybe on social we can give away some yeah, exactly. or something. Keep you updated. Uh, are you a fan of Real Housewives of New Jersey? I'm from New Jersey. Oh, okay. So to be honest, I try to stay away. I love Beverly Hills, Orange County, Real Housewives. I try to stay away from Real Housewives of New Jersey in addition to you Jersey guys... Shore because people are constantly asking me about it like I should know, like they're my neighbors. You should know. I know, but then like there's like a whole there's a stereotype associated with I it. I know. To be fair though, they're all in North Jersey. They are all in North Jersey, and I was from South Jersey. But I'm gonna tell you a secret. It, yeah. As much as I try to like stay away from it, it is a guilty pleasure. It's great. Like, I do like it. The Gorgas, Melissa and Joe, they're fantastic. I mean, they, everybody loves and them. The sister yeah. Teresa. Teresa. And the whole, oh my I mean, god. Listen, Danielle Staub, onion bagels. It's the whole thing. Table is great. Table slipping. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. Joe Gorga is in a war with uh, an Italian restaurant that he had lent his name to and gotten in business with. They actually showcased this on the show. That's not Jersey at all. 
No, no. <laughs> to have an, <laughs> no, not at all. Or with an Italian eatery. Yeah, so not at all. Not Over a family, yeah, family Italian <laughs> restaurant. Uh, Gorga's homemade pizza and pasta um, it was something that him and Melissa were working on. Now you can see in these photos they they lent their name uh, to the the restaurant um, that was had a different Italian name before that, and and they incorporated their whole family into it. There were photos everywhere. Uh, they actually lent their their recipes. So there yeah. was. Um, the Gorga homemade red sauce, little mm. Joey's chicken piccata, Melissa's harvest salad, and, and then the father was yeah the father came in and helped yeah yeah I, I watched a clip when they talked about this thing for the first time and it was um it was like uh, beautiful I mean the the father starts mm. crying in the restaurant because this is like his whole dream come true and and Joe really wanted to make it good for him family name family yeah. recipes well the restaurant's a big deal. piece of crap and uh, <laughs> and Joe there says goes that one. yeah <laughs> Joe says it's basically uh, ruined his family name uh, he's dragged him through the mud he's pissed off and we actually got a very strongly worded legal letter. Very uh, strongly worded. Yeah, that, that was sent to the, the owners of this. It was actually, it was a cease and desist and that was sent to Joe's business partners and he was claiming that he has ended the relationship with them, um, with the restaurant and with his partners and he says that they're still using his his name and images and photos all over the restaurant right and wants it. it to stop right away. And the list of things in this really? restaurant, it, you start, I mean, it's just bad. It's really it's bad. It's gross. Yeah, so I mean, he starts saying, uh, well, first off, I mean, it, it gets almost, uh, there could have been a big health issue that he found out, so the, the, the Gorga homemade sauce they were selling through like a store online and you could buy them when they were in there, right. they would bottle them. Well, apparently Joe found out they weren't using preservatives Ugh. to send ship those out. So, Not safe. Yeah, so you get nasty red sauce, it was great. And so Joe yeah. apparently found out about this, he tried to put a stop to it immediately. But, but apparently they were still doing it in the store. Right. So behind his back, as much as they took it offline, still selling it in the restaurant with it's no bad. preservatives. And yeah, that's not... It's bad. He said not a smart idea. it wasn't representative of the of the family and, and the food and stuff. And, and he even said he went in there one time um, and, and the place was completely disorganized. He had to seat himself. He said the meal, the food was, was good, but afterwards he went to use the bathroom and the toilet was broken yeah. and people were upset. And it's just really, really that's bad. That's not safe either. Yeah, apparently the uh, the final straw came and it had to do with Groupon because the... the, the the, love me a good Groupon. <laughs> I love Groupon too, but the, the restaurant was offering Groupons and apparently yeah. they weren't honoring them. So people were contacting Joe on social media saying, yeah. why are you not honoring these Groupons and gift certificates? So he was very, yeah. very pissed off. Um, and so that's it. They <sighs> pulled his name from the show, from the restaurant but says mm -hmm. that they're still using it. So there's a big He wants water. them to cease and desist. Yeah. You know that show, have you ever, I had a really big obsession with these for a long time. Um, there's one called Restaurant Impossible. I've, I've heard of it. I and then it. Um, Gordon Ramsay had one too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They should get one of those guys to come in and be well, like, this listen, the bar, cut this, the shit. Is this like John Taffer, the bar rescue stuff? Yes, exactly. Yeah, where they're yeah. like, hey, this you has got to stop. You just said shit. I did. <laughs> <laughs> on my birthday, on Facebook Live. I hope my grandmother isn't yeah. watching. She usually yeah, watches. Grandma. Sorry, mom, I'm no, in no. New Jersey. So sorry. Of which, um, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That would be cool to have them on awesome. there. That would be awesome. Yeah, it would be, there would be some epic fights. Uh, and, and the show was, the restaurant was featured on this show like six times, so it would be normal yeah. for it. I don't know, but I also, and, and here's kind of where I think this is, is heading. So the season that says they want them to stop using the stuff, they also want the, the, the other owners to open up the books and see how mm. much money they've made uh, while using his name. And so basically here it comes where, you know, he's accusing them of mismanaging the business and they're going right. to say that they're owed a bunch of money that they never received. And... Which, hey, they're probably entitled to it. I mean, no, if, if the restaurant got popular off of the Gorga name and the this they restaurant... They mismanaging it. Yeah, you gotta pay up. It's just sad that it came to that point. I know. I feel bad. Yeah, and Melissa said that they are gonna open up a new location, so maybe they'll hmm. be able to, to bring back the Gorga. There you go. The good name. Manage it a little better. Yeah. Oh, man, cool we're, on, we're on a lot of Jersey today. So, so much Jersey. So I much think Jersey. And it's all great positive stories, too. <laughs> <laughs> it's just only good stuff happening out of Jersey. Only good things happen in yeah, Jersey what some Shore. people have told me is called the armpit of the country. It is. I try not to <laughs> say that about my own home state. <laughs> She's allowed, you're allowed to say it because you were free from there. <laughs> yeah, I'm allowed to. I'm allowed to. Did you ever watch Jersey Shore when it first came out? Oh, yeah. Yeah? And Big then fan. moved to another state, and people were like, oh, so you know Snooki? Like, that's your friend? Yeah, and what, you're and I was like, just because it's small doesn't mean we all know each I, other. When I, I was working at my, my previous em employer, we actually mm -hmm. met the Jersey Shore, like, it, right before the show aired. 
Like wow. they all came in and they were so fresh faced and young. And the situation who we're gonna talk about Sorry, now, Ed. situation was like, raw. dude, mm. his six pack was un. I'd never seen anything like that. Wow. Before. I mean, guy, he did have a situation. It was. It was. <laughs> Cause it the was situation. Big. Yeah, it was big. Oh uh, man. So yeah, unfortunately, <laughs> he's now pleading guilty to tax fraud. So, yeah, so because I because I start with that story to talk about all the success they had and you know the, these mm -hmm. eight years they've made so much money and and unfortunately the situation didn't pay his, all of his taxes according to the government uh, and oh. he is now um, yeah he he is now going to be pleading guilty along with his brother Mark Sorrentino uh, to tax fraud they were hit with multiple charges it's unclear exactly what they'll plead to when when they. Enter, enter the uh, the decision there, but um, he's supposed to be filming the uh, the reboot, the Jersey Shore reboot that actually yeah. just started filming in Miami, and it's just it's it's poor timing for poor Sitch because I mean he this is something where he could make a lot of money now. It's unclear what's going to happen with him because unless mm -hmm. on Friday they like shackle him and like take him away from the courtroom. He'll probably be, there'll be like a, a length of time in between his sentencing, you know, from the plea. That's right. how it normally, I mean, it's, it, 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 listen, it could change, but mm -hmm. typically that's how it normally is there's a few weeks. So he could have some time in Miami before whatever punishment is enacted on him get, get, gets done. But we right. actually, um, we got a video of Pauly D, and he was actually with Ronnie, Magro. Yes. Love, love some, some Ron Ron. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, they they were in Miami. They just touched down, and Polly is genuinely worried if the situation is going to be able to make it. Yeah, at this time we don't know if he's if he's coming. So uh, Polly is in the same. Yeah, we have like, the do we have the video? Let's see. Yeah, let's check it out. Hey, Polly, what's the deal with uh, Mike? Mike, the situation and uh, his taxes. He got himself a little situation. He's in a situation. Tax situation. Yeah. Well, yeah. I hope it comes out, and uh, I hope it doesn't get uh, in trouble for it. That's all I said. Yeah. I just read a headline that said he could get up to 15 years. That's crazy. I can't ever see that. He's like the nicest guy in the world. The situation's the nicest guy. He doesn't deserve it, so hopefully he gets out of it. Well, we're going to see him here in Miami, right? Uh, I hope so. Okay. I hope so. That's the plan. All right. Well, we'll see how that, how, how that works yeah, out. All right. Great. Thanks. All right. Uh, you gotta hand it to Paul D. That hair has not changed in eight years. Not it is fantastic. at all. He looks exactly yeah. the same. His tan it's looks the same. He's a he little, looks, he's a little smaller, which is probably healthier for you know. He's it's, it's probably good for go. him. You know, he's not doing a cycle or anything right now. But <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, the guy is uh, Polly D is awesome. He's always so nice to the to the cameras when they he get. He even him has and, a great hashtag that just says hashtag Polly D positivity, and I'm like, I yes, like D positivity. he's always positive. He's still, I I, he just, that. I don't know, he just, he looks. I, he, the guy has become insane. Like a lot of people don't know this, but you know, j not after Jersey Shore and everything, he beca he's a real DJ. I mean, like he was like a resident in Vegas. <clears throat> the guy gets paid a lot of money to go perform places. I mean, he is. I, I would say, I, I, probably not now because Snooki and JWoww have had so many TV shows after, but mm -hmm. he's top three most successful Jersey Shore people that came out of there. Especially um, coming into the mainstream. Yeah, but he's still- Coming and, out of Jersey. And maybe I'll, I'll, maybe I'll say this for his case because with Snooki and JWoww, they, they look Completely different. Not not that yeah. like they've not like the cosmetic stuff and the plastics, but but just the, like they're yeah it is. But they're <laughs> they're you can tell they're wealthy now. They're like yeah they've made it. Polly D looks exactly the same, and that's why he's awesome. Can't <laughs> he's, take he's wearing, the boy out of jersey. It's but can't so take cool. The jersey out of the boy. Yeah, sometimes. it's great. Good for him. Uh, we'll keep you posted on situation. Uh, we're obviously we'll cover the the hearing on Friday, and hopefully he can make it to Miami to do some fist pumping. Fingers crossed. And yeah, maybe he'll. Talk about some of this stuff. I don't, I don't know. know if he's allowed to yet. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see. As long as he doesn't want to say too much. Yeah. yeah. Or he'll just subtly be like, "Yeah, guys, I got a situation." Well, this is that is a situation. Sad. What's interesting is that for the producers, because now mm. they have possible gold mine on their hands. Because right. I might get because obviously, if he's going to do the show, he's already signed on. Doing this, they have contracts. This is a great thing. I'm sure they don't want to publicize if he's going to go to prison, but like, right. they want to cover. This is happening with them, mm -hmm. and this is the biggest story. So happening for in real time with all of this. Yeah, was it four nine five productions? They may mm -hmm. have just hit a little gold mine. <laughs> like, congratulations. Good for them. The yeah, <laughs> Sally Ann's thanking the IRS right now. <laughs> <laughs> Moving yeah. on from Jersey for a minute. Moving into some some California news. No, this is worldwide news. Kim Kardashian is a is a global. She's a global phenomenon. Force to yeah, be reckoned with. I would say so. 
You guys already know Kim Kardashian had her baby earlier this week. Um, with well, she Kanye had West. her surrogate had the baby. Yes, yes. Had her she baby. has a baby. She has a baby. <laughs> and I think it's interesting that we even point out what I just said, that had her baby is sort of a loose phrase in this situation because Kim Kardashian opened up super recently as a, what, a couple hours ago? This morning. Yeah, on her app um, and her website talking about uh, what it was like not to carry her own child, but also the differences between a surrogate and a gestational carrier. Mm -hmm. um, she went into quite a bit of detail on that. Um, I have... And exactly what she said. Go I, ahead, Gary. I, well, I just, I, I think it was interesting. I, I, it was great that she shared this. Obviously, this is something she felt very personal about, clearly. Mm -hmm. um, and it's very powerful and emotional. I, I th wonder what her motivation was for sharing this. And I feel like mm -hmm. it was because, possibly because of criticism from just the public and, and maybe just the public like you just mentioned, not knowing exactly what, you know, what, what it is, what the process is. And because... To me, it, it sounds like she lays out that she had no other choice but to use, you know, gestational carrier, and that no matter right. what, the baby is still hers and Kanye's biologically, and this was mm -hmm. not something she was easy with. And, and I feel like, and I hope she's not getting this flack from people, because this is something mm -hmm. that a lot of people do, and right. it's amazing that those people that carry these babies for, for couples that, that, you know, can't do it on, on their own, and... Um, it feels like she's defending that decision, mm -hmm. and I hope that's not the case. I hope she's having a more positive, you know, th mm -hmm. feeling with it. But, but uh, like you're going to read the post. I mean, she, it, from having two previous children and carrying them, this was a mm -hmm. real hard moment for her to have somebody else carry her, carry her child. Right, yeah, and it absolutely doesn't um, make that emotionally any easier. And as you just said, she talks about how, you know, people have the uh, presumption that it's, the easy way out because you don't have the physical demands on your body of carrying a child and then the uh, complications that can happen in labor. Um, but but she says, you know, after carrying Satan North, that didn't feel like the case for her. Um, and she goes into the, the difference between surrogate and gestational carrier by saying, um, although she's used the term surrogate in the past, a gestational carrier is actually the technical term for a woman that carries a baby that she has no biological relationship to. Mm -hmm. A traditional surrogate will actually donate the egg and is inseminated with the father's sperm carries the baby to full term um but her like I'm back egg in was <laughs> health class <laughs> right <laughs> and i'm just as confused <laughs> yeah um, um, what i thought the word was stork when does the stork come into <laughs> the it? stork <laughs> <laughs> yeah it's a secret uh, okay. uh we don't tell anybody about the stork <laughs> yeah. but uh the <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> The gestational carrier is actually implanted with Kim's egg mm -hmm. and Kanye's fertilized sperm, um, so the baby is biologically completely her and Kanye's. Yes, and there was another part of this. I didn't think of it till after we put up the post later, and I was mm. just reflecting more on, you know, as I do throughout the day. <laughs> it's good to um, reflect. I think a lot of people were, were, or were hypothesizing that Kylie was the carrier, that, and people were saying that this was all a along, real that, theory that Kylie on the was internet. the one that had the baby, um, Kim makes it clear, there's a whole write-up where she says that they did not know this woman, that there was mm -hmm. background checks done, medical checks, that, you know, she comes from a good family, she's very healthy, but they had no relation, friendship, anything to this woman at all. So, and they used an agency yes, agency. So, obtain her. So unless she really has no clue who Kylie is, I think we can rule <laughs> Kylie out. <laughs> I think this officially yeah. rules out that Kylie was the gestational now, carrier. There's another interesting thing Kim did today. Is the baby, we still don't know the baby's name. Um, I'm dying. So I want Kim to know the name. posted a close-up image of a Louis Vuitton purse or something. You can see like the fabric there. Mm -hmm. Can you tell if that's a Logo. fake Louis or a real Louis just by looking at that, by the way? I'm sure there's people that can. I can't. I'm just in curious. The sense, I I'm can't, sure it's in the real, but it's like a, it's an Instagram post, so it's hard for me to see the exact. Is like, it the seam? Don't you of look the leather. The, yeah, yeah exactly. I'm seam. like, if the purse was in front of me, I could tell. But yeah, you gotta be, you gotta have a real good eye. To I, see that it always from bothered from me the with that stuff. Because it looks exactly mm -hmm. the same. It shouldn't matter. It's like you got the printing on it. It doesn't matter if it came from the actual store. Or like I bought it on what's the street in on New York? Uh, Canal Street. Canal Street. <clears throat> Place is yeah. awesome. You can get like f you can get like fifty purses for the price of like one. Of There's like a really the real good purses. Broad City episode where they like go into a manhole and end up in Chinatown. Yeah, it's a whole thing. It's it fantastic. Looks fun. So people are wondering, she may have named the baby after Louis, possibly, is or the, Vuitton, or, or Vuitton? expensive bag West. Exactly. So is she's a, yeah. We know so it's a girl. Is it Louise? Louise. Is it a French name? There's so many things that could be posited from this one Instagram image. Yeah. Or 
She just really likes Louis Vuitton. Or she does. In her purse we don't know. Oh, uh, she she butt. She yes. Butt, <laughs> oh my God. What if it that was a funny. butt Instagram post? That would be. I mean, Kim's butt <laughs> is no magical. There's no caption. It could definitely do some crazy Kim stuff. Kim does have a magical booty. I agree. Maybe she was just like, whoops, yeah. it's my purse. I still. I'm gonna we share my my theory. Go I, for it. I think it's Shay. S H A. I know what the reason is, but explain yeah, to I Facebook Yeah, I think. Live okay, first off, is. it's first off Kim. And is a master of publicity, of hiding things out in the open mm -hmm. when you marketing. can't really see marketing. And to me, and I'm just listening, I'm probably gonna be completely wrong, but if I'm not, you heard it here first, that's why I'm saying it on record. Gary Truck yeah. exclusive. Uh, she, remember when, when the baby was born, Kim wrote, She's here. Yes, on her website, she had a giant graphic that said, She's, She's here. here. Now, it's just interesting. And then she, there was another, now I obviously I understand it's a girl and that's what you call girls, but it's Pronouns. just weird because it, it would follow the, I mean, Shay could be a little mm -hmm. French. They love, they, Kim and Kanye love France. They're in love with Paris. So um, would that be C-H-E? It, well, it might be. It might be, but it doesn't like work. A Shay? But it doesn't work like when she says it first Oh, off. Yeah, 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 you're right. Okay, Can't I see what away. you're saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> Plus it has to be single syllable. You got Saint. Saint and uh, north. north. Yeah, you can't, yeah, it can't be like, you know. Kim, Kanye yeah. is too. Uh, he doesn't count. Not gonna work. So we'll see, we'll see, I'm, I'm excited. I like that theory, that's good. Um, yeah. It could also be here. That's a, Yeah, that was the other thing. Could be here. <laughs> if it's here, here I, then I have no clue what's going on anymore. <laughs> you never Who know though. Knows, but keep coming at us with your theories, guys. Yeah, let us know what you think. You guys on the internet are creative. What? Louise? Yeah, Louise. Louisy, <gasps> Yeah, but they, but they would it would go the two syllable thing wouldn't work anymore. Yeah, I can't more... imagine Kim would separate the third child with the second ah, syllable. Yeah, yeah. It's all got to be. There's some very strict criteria here to be yeah. a West baby. Yeah. So we'll see. But hey, I like the theory though, Lonnie. It's not as good as my theory, but I mean, it's good. <laughs> Gary's theory is the best theory that there is. <clears throat> Uh, all right, Zac Efron. This was my favorite photo of the day. <laughs> is this a serial killer photo? <laughs> so when we were we got this photo, we were like, oh, this is creepy. Like, he's Ted Bundy. I was like, but it's sexy, though. He's very it's sexy, Zac Ted Bundy. Efron. Ted Bundy was, like, good looking. Wasn't that part of his deal? Yeah. That he, he's like jail Pretty bag. good looking, yeah. Ooh, he kind of looks like, like a That's young not Zac Efron, Rob yeah. Lowe there. Are Rob Lowe would that? be very offended. I'm sorry, Rob Lowe. <laughs> Rob Lowe. I really love Rob Lowe. Hates you I'm more sorry. than he hates Bella Thorne right now. <gasps> and that is a lot of hatred. Yeah. He really hates Bella Thorne. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, Zach's going to be <gasps> extremely wicked, shockingly evil, and vile. It's going to be a, a Ted Bundy film. Um, and it's going to, the story of Ted Bundy, if you guys don't know, he was a serial killer, executed in 1989. <laughs> Uh, convicted, or he was convicted of lots of murders and sexual assaults, and he actually confessed to over 30 homicides. Guy had a lot of issues. Um, Lily Collins is going to be in this. Lily, yeah, she's going to. That's who she's going to play his Ted Bundy's girlfriend, and the story Ooh. is told through her perspective. Which I, I haven't, that. I haven't read up a lot of that. But mm -hmm. did she not know? Is that like, did she not know any of this was going on? She didn't know? Okay, so she's a completely oblivious girlfriend of to Ted Bundy. His 30, <laughs> yeah, 30 like, plus homicide. How do you not know? Oh my, I, gosh. That's uh, some real ignorance. He did, he right was, there. I mean, yeah. And a but he became, I mean, he, you know, he, and people still know of Ted Bundy now. He's one of those, like, infamous serial killers that, that kind of gained pop culture fame and. Unfortunately, but I know. yeah, and and uh, Zach even when he posted the photo, he just said meet Ted. Which yes, was creepy. And Lily posted her character. Yeah, she said meet Liz. So it's interesting. Um, uh, the hashtag jail bay thing. Oh, is that trending? Came right? up. Yeah, I mean, it, you know, even Ted. Oh, a jail bait. Jail Bay. Oh, Jail Bay. B A E. It's good to know both. Just <laughs> it's good to know. It's good, good, good know to both. be um, informed. Good to be yeah. informed. Yeah. When you have when you have a good looking person mm -hmm. in a mugshot or a person that like happens to look good in their mugshot. Mm -hmm. Yes, Meeks. That's Jail Bay. Jeremy Meeks. That Jeremy guy Meeks was, is hashtag Jail Bay. Hot. That's him. But now he he's was with, so uh, good looking. Who's the heiress he's with? Oh shoot. Chloe or I forget. I'm totally wrong. Oh my god. Yeah, but he's doing good for himself. He's he's doing great. So. <laughs> For those Ted Bundy, of, not so much. He's for those dead. of us like Zac Efron and Jeremy Meeks and Ted Bundy, <laughs> rest in peace, I'm just kidding, um, that have good-looking mug shots, 
Good for you. Not Nick Nolte. Mm-mm. That was epic oh, mugshot. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty great. So we'll see when the movie comes out. Interesting, there's a, the Charles Manson mm-hmm. movie and now this movie. Yeah. Just, how about, there's some positive people we could do movies on, right? I feel like absolutely. I feel like there could be a lot of that. Positive or, stories. I don't know. Maybe 2018 is just the year of the serial killer. Apparently. In, in <laughs> that's a great start for 2018. <laughs> yeah. January 18th, 2018. I'm calling it. Anything else interesting you saw today? Anything else interesting I saw today? Oh, oh, we have another, we have one more. So many interesting things. Um, oh, this Black China thing's actually pretty crazy. It was super crazy. She, shockingly, called somewhat of a truce, it seems. Mini truce. Yesterday, a tiny truce, a little white flag waving in the wind, but a white flag nonetheless. <laughs> she called her small truce to congratulate Kim and Kanye on the baby. Yeah. How nice is that? It's great. Remember, she has a lawsuit against road. Kim right now. She has sued the whole Kardashian family, claiming that they torpedoed her chance at fame and that she they ruined her reality show on E. Um, With, she kind of ruined her reality yeah, show Yeah, she on definitely e. ruined a lot of it. Um, but she's claiming they screwed her out of, of a ton of money. She This is the all, all connected to the fight that she had with Rob. And, you know, Rob says that he choked her with an iCord, or she choked him with an iPhone cord, and she claims Ooh. that he was being abusive to her. And... Blah, 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 blah. It's super messy right but now. But this video, though, I mean, in the midst of all that, to kind of let the BS go and, and say congrats is pretty cool. Do we, or can we show that video? All right, we have that real. Are you happy about Kim and Kanye having the kid? Baby girl? Yes, always. Isn't that good? Your dream will have a cousin. At least a sister, right? <laughs> Bye. Thank you, China. Realistic about the relationship Dream will probably have with <laughs> with, with untitled <laughs> baby yeah, Kardashian really. West, but she is happy <laughs> for them. Baby. Maybe she was in the camo. Maybe she didn't think anybody would see her, and she wouldn't have to I talk about it. I think she was with the beige hat. I think she was trying to blend in <laughs> a little like, bit. Nobody will know. <laughs> I don't know though. I, I can. It would have been great if they were like Black China. Anywhere. She just froze. <laughs> You don't see me. Up against the wall. Yeah, it's like a tree. I'm in camo. She like slinked away. <laughs> <laughs> but that's nice. She it's said they, they deserve blessings. Yeah, absolutely. That's awesome. That's very sweet. I'll, Still I'll not getting invited to Thanksgiving. Positivity. Oh. Yeah, no Thanksgiving. No for Thanksgiving Black for Black China. Sorry. Poly D positivity, I like that. Right? Yeah. I'm going to use that more in my life. Some Poly D positivity. I want some Poly D nice. air gel. He just like, yeah. I mean, it's straight. It's pretty great. Up. Pretty that's great. impressive. I agree. Like that's like a defiance of gravity yeah, for, in some way. For eight years, it's insane. I don't think <laughs> he's, just, he hasn't do you showered. Think he sleeps. Yeah, yeah, yeah like, like that. absolutely. I really it has a, it's like Polly it's like a casing. Flat. It's like the man in the iron mask. He has like a <laughs> thing he wears on it that it's, it stays. Do you think when he like? Brings home girls. He's like, hold on, just one second. I have to go get my like. Oh, a thousand casing. percent. <laughs> absolutely. Absol- oh, absolutely. Oh, when a girl touches his hair, she's out. Whoa. Yeah. Whoa. Out. You never touch his hair. I don't know if that would be a deal breaker for me. If I was like, you sleep in a head casing. But you're so positive. So positive. So I appreciate that about you, Polly D. It's very kind. And uh, I think that's it, right? Yeah, that's We've covered it. it all. We're going to have some, we have a great, uh, I think it'll be done tomorrow. We, we went and shot, um, oh, we teased yes. it, we went and shot at Fat, Fat Sal's in Hollywood. Yeah, yes. we'll be done with that. Fat Sal's make amazing sandwiches, crazy sandwiches. They have a new so good. pizza sandwich loaded with Everything except the kitchen sink that... Literally uh, everything. It's pretty great. French we, fries, bacon, burgers, bacon. chicken fingers, mozzarella sticks, onion rings. rings. I'm forgetting things. Unicorn. That rhymes. Unic- yeah, unicorns. unicorns. There's a lot uh, of stuff. Jimmy Hoffa's in, in it. It's like everything. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It's everything. Uh, but it's great. We went and shot video with them. The guys are super cool. So um, make sure and check out the site tomorrow. We will have our whole little... It's like a little field trip. It was fun. Yeah, a little bless, bless field trip. For Any us. field trip I can, I can go and eat. I'm, yeah, really. I'm and there. You guys are going to love the video. It was great. Seeing Gary was, actually try to devour this insane... I was still huge picking bits of bacon and ranch out of my hair last night when I showered. <laughs> we'll leave it we at were that. in the kitchen. There was a lot <laughs> yeah, flying yeah. around. That's it. Yeah. So check check in. It was pretty crazy. It yes. was. Check in there and make sure you guys are following us on Instagram so that you can check out our stories. Also follow us on Twitter. Like us on Facebook. Mm-hmm. Subscribe to us on YouTube. Follow us on Apple News. Hit the little heart. That way you can see what's going on. Right there. Right there. Right. There. Share this video. <laughs> share it. I'm so bad with this. Here? here. I think it's here. <laughs>
Whatever. <laughs> right here. The video's right <laughs> here. <laughs> I don't know what to do. All right, everybody. Have a good day. See you guys tomorrow. See you tomorrow.